Robert Douglas. I came from a middle-income town in Massachusetts, just south of Boston, called Weymouth. My parents put me on a Greyhound bus in Boston. My first day at Columbia was my first day in Manhattan. I was the big man on campus in Weymouth, and when I got here, I felt very small. Well, I was a runner, so, you know, when you have sports with you, that's, that's at least something that you know how to do. The level of, of brightness and self-sufficiency of a lot of the students was a little bit of a, of a culture shock. And uh, it, took a little, it took a little getting used to. It took me two years to get on the dean's list. And there were, there were some tough academic times. We had the so-called riots in 1968. When the police come onto campus and the university decides to shut down and send everybody home with pass-fail, you know, those are things as a, as a little sophomore from middle-income America that you don't, you don't forget. There was the um, ARC on Long Island where I was doing about five college fairs a year and between 20 and 40 um, interviews. And I've continued that uh, in, in Connecticut. If you only interview two, three, or four students a year, you get a little snapshot. But if you're interviewing, as I do, 20 to 40, you get a, you get a movie. All I say to students when I interview them is no matter what you think you might want to do, whether it's athletics or neuroscience, just take the blinders off because Columbia is going to show you things that maybe you didn't even know were there. Our daughter is a graduate of the college from 2011 and a graduate of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences this year. We occasionally did things together like being asked to address days on campus. All of the students who were admitted get called up by name and we shake their hand and we hand them a copy of the Iliad with our book plate in it. And that's, that's always special to, to look somebody in the eye, as I did with my daughter, uh, and to hand them a copy of the Iliad. The students graduating today will understand how inspiring it can be to give back to alma mater. But it really doesn't change anything because everything that I would have done to earn the medal, had I not won the medal, I would have done anyway.